All right, guys, today we're back working on the old Farm Roll Super A. All right, um, having problems on and off for actually a while now. And it's gotten worse with the charging system. Pulled the old amp meter out, thinking maybe it was just the amp meter. I really didn't, uh, really didn't think so, but it's old, so I pulled her out, put a new amp meter in, um, and um, she'll uh, put the flashes on, so she'll discharge, but she's not showing charge at all uh, with the tractor running, uh, not showing charge whatsoever. So uh, there's no charge going back into my battery. And it's been a problem for a while now. So, the two main culprits, of course, are the generator and the voltage regulator. Uh, I mark all my voltage regulators with the letters, okay? So I know even when I take the cap off, what I'm looking at, okay? All right, so, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this with the sunlight, but holding the test light here. Okay, to the load terminal, and uh, I got juice there. Holding it to the battery terminal, I got juice there. Okay, um, there shouldn't be juice coming out of the field, but they're not running. Okay, and there is not. Okay, I test it, there's not. Okay, so um, that tells me the juice is flowing from the the load terminal, the lead terminal, to the battery terminal, which is right, okay? There's two sets of points in here, the right one here, all right? You can't see it, no matter how, what, how I hold this, but there's one set here, and there's one set on this side as well, okay? Um, you both seem to be okay. I cleaned them. Uh, there's no adjustments on them at all. You stick a piece of emery cloth in there and uh, slide it out, do it a few times, clean the, the contacts. And that was done, okay? Uh, that didn't help, all right? It did that, tested it, no help. So I went to the generator. Uh, and the test you have to do your generator, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate now is how to basically almost like bench test your generator to see if it works, all right? If there's current flowing from your armature terminal through everything, through all the coils and everything inside and uh, to your field terminal, okay? Um, everything is fine. Okay, if the current is not flowing from one to the other, not making the connection, obviously you got a break inside there. And the way you test that is really relatively simple. First thing you do, take your belt off. Take the belt off the generator. It must be off. Do not do this with the belt on. Okay? Try it does not have to be running at all. Again, this is a bench test. Belt off the generator, okay? You got a, um, simple alligator clip lead. Okay, to a known ground. I tested this ground with my test light. I know it's a good known ground. And up to the field terminal. Okay, field terminal on the generator. All right. So you go from a ground to the field terminal on the generator. Then you're going to have to go from a power source, from a hot, a hot juice source, from the battery, to your armature terminal. And when you touch that with hot juice and hold it there. That pulley should spin. Okay, now, this is what happened. The first time I tested it, this pulley was just like, it was just nudging. It was just nudging along. It was not moving. It was not spinning. Okay, so I take my trusty, trusty old rubber mallet, and I kind of beat the crap out of this generator all the way around. Because I'm thinking to myself, maybe there's just some condensation, rust in there, and a rust between two contact points, that's all it takes, man. So I just beat the crap out of this thing with a rubber mallet. Do not, don't use a regular mallet. Rubber mallet, just beat it all around. Okay? After I did that, I connected my terminal from the, uh, from the juice source, which is right here, the battery of the regulator. There's a hot wire from here up to the armature. And uh, you will see, I got spin. So I'm going to put this here. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. Try to situate this here, looking right at that pulley. I hope you can see it in the sunlight. And I'm touching one wire to a known battery source. The other wire is going up to that armature terminal. You can see she's spinning. Now, this battery is a little weak. 
so she's not spinning fast, but nonetheless, she's spinning. Spinning pretty good now, actually, with a weak battery. And that's all you have to do. That tells you that all the connections inside that generator between the armature and the field terminal are, in fact, all connected and all working. Now, again, the first time I tested it, it was barely, it really wasn't moving. It was just like stuttering. But after beating the crap out of it, shaking things loose, this tractor does sit outside quite a bit. So you see there's a pinhole there. Obviously, rainwater, snow, oxidation can get in there. After beating the crap out of it and testing it again, I got it. So um, I'm not going to pull a generator apart to clean up the inside. I'm going to uh, probably tap it around a little bit more, try to free it up a little bit more, and um, connect it and see if I got charge. I'll be back with part two of this and uh, let you know as soon as I have time. But anyway, now you know how to test your generator. See if it works. Very, very simple. Field wire to the ground, juice to the armature, pulley's got to spin. If that pulley doesn't spin, you got to break in the line inside that generator somewhere. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to somebody out there. And I hope I can uh, get lucky here and resolve this issue. Thanks for watching. Welcome, Daniel.